Did you check out my last disastrous video of these? We're going to check out some more of these figures and I'm going to decide if it's worth keeping them or not. Coming up after this. Okay, in my last video, I broke lots of toys. Well, I broke Chewbacca. And then I had problems moving the joints on other ones. I think I decided that I did like how these looked, but I think I decided that the toy box figures are better. Maybe. The proportions are weirder, but they seem more sturdy. R2-D2 was probably the best figure out of all of them. I think he was my favorite. I got this two-pack. This two-pack is available from Toys R Us in Canada. Is that a mask? Is that an alternate head? We're gonna find that out soon. But first, let me open up some of these other figures. Let's open up Darth Vader. Actually, you know what? Finn looks really, really good. So I'm gonna check out him. If I can find where I put my scissors. They all have action features. What's his action feature? He does something. Oh, he pulls out his gun. They all seem to have this action feature, or this action feature. Glasses I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to take a good look at these. I wanna know if I'm gonna break off a limb or something. Did you see what happened to Chewbacca? All he did was try to bend his elbow. I think he's one of the best looking figures. He was until I saw the release of Han. That is his action feature. What I like about these that the toy box ones don't have is that you can put their guns in their holster, their holsters don't function that way on these ones. So we can store his gun. Am I oversaturated? Maybe maybe that needs to move. Too much shadow, very contrasty light, sorry about that. That's what he's looking like. Look really good. Does his belt come off? I wonder if you can pull apart their waists. I won't try. You can take off their vests. I took off some vests in my last video. This one is no exception. I don't expect Hasbro joints to break though. I found that very weird. His skin color is the same color as his shirt though. So he kind of looks like he's naked here. And this is a separate piece, but I can't see how to take it off. And I'm not gonna try to take them apart at the waist or anything. Heads, I guess, would be swappable because they are on ball joints, even though his head doesn't seem to be coming off like everybody else's was falling off in my last review. He looks better with the vest on. I like that dimension. It's not something that you'd really want to do to take off these things, but it does bring this extra dimension to the toys. Every time there's a removable accessory, you don't have to take it off, but it just it adds to the layering. Masters of the Universe did that in the classic toys, and it was great. Okay, cool. He has two accessories. He's my first one with two accessories. So he has this satchel kind of thing. Really great detail in this. See that? And can that be undone? No, I don't think that can be undone. You're just supposed to wrap that around him, I assume. So quick to throw the boxes away before I look at the pictures to see. It doesn't show it on him. But I'm going to try to just put it over his head and figure out how he's supposed to wear it. Hopefully it's not for his waist. I guess I did see this movie. I think this movie was good. Where Finn was introduced. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Him carrying that around like that. That's a good detail. And then his gun will fit into his hand well. All the guns fit into the hands well so far, from my experience. I mean, they have to because of the quick draw feature. So he's pointing it. Oh, come on. Get that, get that bag under your arm. Can you wear it on his back? Oh, maybe he's supposed to wear it on his back. I don't know. I guess he can wear it anyway. Actually, it fits best that way. Anyway, here's the action feature. Quick on the draw. Yeah, yeah. And the wrists twist here. I guess the wrists twist on everybody. Yeah. Chewbacca's broken arm doesn't twist very well. He's holding the gun like a gangster. Okay, there we go. Nice. Yeah, he's a good looking figure. Can he stand? I don't have much luck with these standing, but he's standing. He's the first one. Oh, can we put the gun in the holster? That's 
That's an awesome part. Oh, and there's a little ball and socket. Not ball and socket, but peg and hole for the holster to clip into. That's a cool feature, except it doesn't work. Maybe that was glued and the glue came out. Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. Unless it was supposed to be glued. Maybe when I put the gun in for support. Oh, wow. Oh, his hand fell off when I took his gun out. Did it break off or did it just... Uh, no, that's okay. This, this little peg there doesn't seem to be able to fit into his lag part. And I'm not sure if the glue came out there, but you shouldn't be able to glue that in because his lag is movable. I'm gonna try putting the pistol in to give me some stability because it's a really soft rubber. And then I'm gonna try to push this in again. Oh yeah, it works like that. So if you put the gun in, and then you'd be able to plug the holster back into the side of his leg. Oh, and then it falls out really easily just by moving around. So that doesn't really make sense. They could have not even included that. That, yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know, let's move on. Let's open up this two pack that I know if you're here watching this video, this is the reason. So let's do this. Looking at her in the single pack and look at, looking at her in this two pack, she looks exactly the same. If you have the single one, let me know if there's a difference. Does she have the twist waist? She has the twist waist with her sword. Luke totally should have had the twist waist feature. This is what they look like in their package. Like so. He doesn't come with the cape. That is the downfall to this figure. But guess what? It is his head that you want to take off to put on his other head. It's not a mask, it's a full head. If you have the single, wow, that's dark in there. If you have the single one, let me know if this head is exactly the same. I guess it would be. Or maybe that red stuff is only on this one. I didn't even give you a good look at his normal head, but I'll put that back, because that's the way that I want to end it anyway. He is all in black, looking very much like Luke in these outfits, much taller. He has all the same articulation that I'm afraid to. The design's really good. All the details. I hope you can see it in the black. Twisting wrists, elbows, neck, waist. Oh, he also has the spring action twist waist. Like Masters of the Universe. There's a lot of Masters of the Universe correlations going on here. Luke really should have had that feature. I don't know why they did not give him that. Maybe he has some kind of striking action in one of the movies that I'm unaware of. Here is his face sculpt, though. It's really good. Really funny hair. I'm one to talk, though. Yeah, he's a good-looking figure. He works out really well. Here is his tri-saber with, with the bonus parts on it. Lots of paint on there, showing the detail. It's translucent, it's glowy, that's cool. They're always giving them good grips on these. That's the one thing to be said about this so that their action features work really well. Oh, oh he only swings this direction. Not that that looks really convincing. He swings funny. And then we have Ray. And Ray comes with three accessories, so that's pretty cool. She's another really good looking figure. She's got lots of great detail. Yeah, she looks good. I think I would like the toy box one better, but paint's done really well. The plastic feels really good and solid. Funny that the thickest guy is the one that broke. Isn't that funny? These do have more rubbery joints. Yeah, this yeah, this is a more brittle plastic on Chewbacca, so maybe that's why. Maybe they just should have made Chewbacca more rubbery. Face is, whoa, her eyes are kind of cross-eyed, but I kind of like that. Makes her look really cartoony, pointy ears. It really looks like her. She also has a similar satchel to Finn. It's almost exactly the same. Let me sling that on her. 
never sure which side they're supposed to wear it on. I don't know what she keeps in there, but it looks nice on her too. I love accessories like that that add to the outfit. Again, that goes back to Masters of the Universe. The hands are shaped so that you could put the gun in each hand, but then you can also put her saber in the hand too. And her gun fits nicely. They have their trigger fingers that fit so nicely into the guns. She's like a favorite just because, well, she comes with so many accessories and her coloring and she looks really good. Ankles are like crooked on the feet. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Do they twist? Yeah, it's like almost they were on like a rocking joint, but they need stands. They definitely need stands. I better put the pistol in the holster. Again, another functioning holster. How does this one clip onto her? It doesn't clip at all. It just hangs there, but it's part of her skirt. A skirty thing. Probably could make her stand, but you really do want a physical stand. Yeah, I can't make her stand. Okay, so let's open up this Stormtrooper. He's a quick draw blaster jet trooper. And he looks like this. I wonder if Darth Vader is going to break because he's also one of the biggest figures. Do I remember correctly that in the original movies, Chewbacca and Darth Vader had the same person inside of them, playing them as the physical characters. And C-3PO? Okay, here's the trooper. He feels like he's not soft as a plastic. He actually feels like he's got that armor on it. And his head is really kinky. It's got a ratchet joint. It says, quick draw blaster. That is his feature. This is his blaster. His blaster looks like this. Well, this is going to be a struggle to get this into his hand because of how it's made. But he's got this little trigger finger that's really close to the rest of his fingers. You do, like, squeeze it in there. See, there's just this tiny little bit of separation there. I like that it feels like he's got, like, this aluminum suit on. And this is his quick draw feature. Put a little more bend in his hand. He's got his gun down to his side and then go, boink! And he's shooting at you, okay. And his waist is like that. He does feel brittle. His legs are ball jointy. It's actually his joint. So <laughs> I was going to say his joints work better than anyone so far. Because it does feel like a different kind of plastic. Wrists twist. They all have basically the same articulation. I'm really afraid I'm going to break another one. I don't know what's going on with the ratchet neck. None of the other ones had that, as far as I remember. Yeah, he's cool. He's nice. Okay, you can get the regular Stormtrooper, and he's on, like, the land speeder or something, or some kind of some kind of flying device that I don't remember the name of. Jet something or other. Okay, Darth Vader, let's open him. He has the twist waist saber striking action. I got some of these for, this is Canada, so I got some of these for 10 on sale. They're normally $12 in Canada. Uh, others of them were $8 because they were on sale from Amazon, and I was able to price match. The two packs were $25 each. Oh, whew. Ooh, he smells. But he's the coolest in the way that he is the biggest, sturdiest figure so far. Well... Let's see him next to Chewbacca. He's not as big as Chewbacca, but he's big and sturdy, and he's got a lot of cape action stuff going on. And do I have all of his accessories and everything? I think I took everything out. This is what he looks like. And he looks really good. Just a normal head. I'm going to pull that off so I can take off the cape. You can see that. We could put that on Kylo. Let's see if that works. Oh, wait, does his head come off? Oh, yeah, of course his head comes off. It's interchangeable. So maybe this is the same cape that they use. If anybody knows if this is the same cape, let me know in the comments below. 
the shoulders seem to be broader and it doesn't seem to fit around the neck. So it's probably not the same cape, but it kind of works. Maybe it is the same. That would look, it looks cool, but does it really look cool or does it look like it doesn't really fit them? It looks like it's floating. The same kind of articulation. Can you take off anything else? It's got the twist waist. The vest doesn't seem to be removable, but it is a separate piece. And then the skirt here seems to be glued on. There's no way to remove it. Sometimes there are removable parts, but you can see there's lots of great detail painted on underneath. Really looks like the legs of my original 80s figures. I guess they were 70s figures, weren't they? The ball joint is a different size, so I you can't really replace the head. Lots of articulation, elbow. Try not to break him the last. Ugh. Okay, that one's really stuck. Ugh. Okay, I managed to move the elbow. You gotta like twist it around to the right position, and then. Ugh. Ugh. Careful. Oh. Okay, this one I can't bend, so I don't want to break it. Well, I'd rather break it on camera for you to see. Okay, I managed to twist it. So there he is with his elbow action happening. Let me put his cape back on. Can't believe I forgot that. His cape is even kind of too big for him on the shoulders. But I like it. He looks really good. So he's a great looking figure too. Chewbacca looks really good. It's too bad he broke. And then he has the... Let's extend this arm. Oh! That's weird. Usually once you bend it in the good direction, you don't have that problem anymore. But let's twist his waist. Strike. Strike to the side. Yeah, there he is. Okay, that's everybody. What do you think of this? Do you like these? Do you collect these? Do you prefer the toy box? I have so many questions. Stay tuned in at the end of this video and I'll give you an overview of all of the figures that I have. I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Okay, here are all the figures I have. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not. R2-D2 can let me know what do you think. I have C-3PO with the weirdest arms. Oh, maybe this arm doesn't come off. I wasn't sure. He explodes when you press this button. Oh, or his appendages just fall off by themselves anyway. He's really meek. He's the... It's funny. Very funny. Okay, and then we've got Han. I, I like him. I like him a lot. And then we have the toy box ton, who maybe I like more. Keep going back and forth. You, what you guys say about this below is going to influence how I feel about these, and maybe I will return them. Finn, I really like how he looks. Luke, I like how he looks. I mean, I can save a lot of money by returning these sets. And then I don't understand the action feature on this guy. Can't really make it work or know what it does. Maybe it's just supposed to spin his head once or... And then broken Chewy. All I did was try to bend his elbow and that broke off. Did I manage to bend his other elbow? You can feel how brittle it is. I did manage to bend his other elbow, yes. And the trooper here, he looks really good. I like how he feels different. And then, I don't even know this guy's name, Kylo. With the interchangeable head, that's a nice feature. However, would I rather have the cape? I would rather have the human head than this head, but I also want the cape. And then, she has so many accessories. She's awesome, definitely one of my favorites. I like that her plastic is more rubbery. Who gets the sword? Whose sword is this? Oh, this is Luke's. It's green. Luke's new sword. Is that right? Is it a new sword? Can I get it in his hand? 
Did I show you Luke? I don't remember showing you Luke. Was he on the table and I didn't show him to you? No. Oh. And then Darth Vader, which you've just seen. And then also this weird robot with antenna face. That's what I'm going to call that guy. I guess he's some new robot. I'm going to try to get this sword in Luke's hand. Maybe Luke only holds this sword in his gloved hand. Do you know the answer to this? Does Luke hold the sword in his gloved or his phony robot hand or his real hand?